Hi folks and welcome to the first River Foss Fishing episode of 2021. We're now into the first week of January and it has brought with it some freezing temperatures going well into the minus figures. I think today alone is about minus three and while that makes some very picturesque camera shots it's absolutely freezing out here. I am however very very grateful that all of that flooding that we had in the end of December has started to go down. While I did really well on that flooding in my last video, it was obviously topped up by a bit more rain and it was just absolutely impossible towards the end of it. I did try to head out onto one session and all I succeeded in catching was some very wet socks. I did get a glimpse of an otter and an egret. It was always nice to see some of the wildlife around here. With the weather, particularly the water levels and temperature, being a little bit all over the place, I have been struggling to catch fish, and I've just been scratching around for one or two bites. Instead, I've actually been heading down to the workshop, and I've been starting work on a few lures, which I hope to get out there and catch some pike on in the future. I've been experimenting with a few different woods and a couple of different sizes to see if I can make a really nice crank and glide lure. I've also been experimenting with a couple of different weights, just to see if this affects the action and how they look in the water. Overall, I've been very happy with these. I did try some out, but I've yet to catch any pike on them. So hopefully that's something I can bring to you in a future video. The last few weeks, however, have not been completely fishless. I did get out for one quick feeder session and I managed to catch a silverfish that I'm not 100% sure what it is. So if anyone can help with the identification of this, please drop it in a comment below. So I've just landed my first little fish. Not 100% sure what this one actually is. Small chub, but it doesn't look quite right. So I'd guess either a large dace or possibly an eyed. Um, not 100% on that one, but first fish at least. <laughs> I also succeeded in catching my first ever wild brown trout and it did come as a bit of a surprise to me when I had this fish on the end. Obviously being out of season I didn't mess around with him too long and instead got him unhooked and straight back as quickly as I could. I'll probably head back to this location because I feel it holds some potential for some chub and some roach and if there's a potential catch of trout as well that would be a bonus. We also had a bit of an interesting one earlier in the week regarding the new national lockdown. Initially fishing was not allowed, but fortunately this decision was reversed so now we can all get back out on the bank again. Obviously we have to limit our travel, but I have some really great rivers within a not too far walk of me, so I'm going to be targeting these. Also I'm not going to be heading out to the tackle shops very often, and instead I'm going to rely on some more easily available baits, things such as bread, and I'm even going to whip up a batch of cheese paste using my own secret recipe later this week, so I can get out on the weekend and hopefully catch some chub from some really great local venues. So although not a long video, I hope this brings you up to date with a few little odds and ends that I've been doing and I have a really exciting project that I'm currently editing together that I hope to share with you in the not too distant future, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, thank you for watching and supporting the River Foss Fishing Channel and I hope to see you again in future videos.